Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Big Anthony Rocker. Thanks, Ed. Just want to um, thank the football club um, for everything that they've done in my footballing career. Um, they've given me a wonderful opportunity to um, to to play football. Obviously, um, give me an opportunity in life. Um, financially, as they do for every every Collingwood player, and they've now they've given me an opportunity to coach the football club, part of the football club. So, I think that I dearly thank the Collingwood Football Club for that. Um, when, fit, when when Ed first told me that um, they were going to induct me in the in, in the Hall of Fame, I, I was sitting in my in my coach's room with Tarks in the development room and. Ed comes up and he's got a bit of a, an angry look on his face and he says, Pebs, come with me. So I've looked at him and I've gone, oh shit, what have I done? <laughs> and so I've, I've looked at Tarks on the way out and followed Ed into the match committee room where uh, the Hall of Fame committee was. Um, Thurl, Wayne Richardson, Michael Roberts, Kevin Rose and Ed himself and... They just told me that they wanted to induct me into the Hall of Fame, and at that time I was speechless. I I didn't think I um, had a great career over my time. I thought I I was okay and 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 played some good games and played some ordinary games at times, but um, I was totally speechless that the Collingwood family, the Collingwood committee, held me in that regard, uh, and, and to be. And to be inducted in, into a club with such great players, you know, the Richard brothers, um, the, the Richardson brothers as well, um, Peter Dacos, a, a Hall of Fame player, Darren Mullane, a Hall of Famer, um, Peter McKenna, another Hall of Famer, Nathan Buckley, Paul LeCurie, James Clement, Hall of Famers. To be inducted, to be known in that and that Hall of Fame team is, is something I'll hold dearly to my heart forever. So thank you. Um, I want to I wanna thank a, a few people. I want to firstly thank Sarah and Edwina. I've got, a, I've got a, a, a group of 40 friends and family here and... And you've done a marvellous job to, um, to get them all sitting together at the one, at the one area there. So thank you very much, uh, Sarah and uh, Edwina. To that, I want to I wanna thank my family who are here tonight, um, my family and friends. Um, to every footballer is a, is, is a great bunch of family and friends. Um, and I want to thank them very much over the years for giving me your support um, throughout the years. So thank you very much. I want to thank, um, in, in, at the end of 96, I was traded from Sydney um, to Collingwood and um, the trade was a, was, was, a, was a big trade at the time and I really want to thank the work that Graham Allen did um, at the time that he got me to the football club. He worked his backside off to get me at the club and, and the trade probably shouldn't have happened because it happened after the deadline. So I really want to thank him for that... Um, for that, um, for, that, for that thing that he did for me then. Thank you very much, Graeme. Um, the coaches that I work with now, thank you very much. You're a great support. Um, as we say now, you know, development rules. Um, the assistants who, who helped me a lot as well. Uh, Nathan Buckley, who's, is, who's a mentor there as well. He's um, fantastic and leading the team in, in the right direction. Um, I want to thank my mum and dad, um, who... Over the journey, we were a, a fantastic support. Uh, we grew up in the, in the suburb of Reservoir, and we, you know, we didn't have we didn't have a lot of money, but we weren't poor. But they did the utmost to give us, to teach us respect, and 
to you know, treat people in the right manner. And I think that rubs off in, in myself and my family as well. So thank you very much for your support. I won't be too much longer. Um, I want to thank, there's a couple more people I want to thank and, and this person had a real impact on my life. Um, he, he was a person that I looked up to, he was a person I inspired, inspired to be um, and, and that's my brother, my brother Sav. He, And it's fortunate that he's here tonight for, for myself to share this moment with him because if it, if it wasn't for him, if, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be the, um, really receiving this accolade because as a younger brother, I, fo I followed my brother doing everything um, and most of the time he, he didn't really like it, but... Um, but the impact he had on me um, in, before football was athletics and then when he went to football I pretty much wanted to do what my brother did and I followed him along, watched him play, uh, watched him play under 19s at Collingwood then watched him play reserve footy then watched him play senior footy at Vic Park when out in the outer watching him play was, was just amazing um, and I wanted to aspire to be like him and most importantly I had the real opportunity to play with him and that was one of my lifelong ambitions was first to play with him, then to play with the Collingwood Football Club. So thank you very much, Savvy. You've been a great support in my life. And last but not least is my wife and my family. Um, over the years, you know, it's been uh, being a, a footballer and, and being a coach as well, you know, our time is, we spend a lot of time at the football club and <laughs> we spend a lot of time at the football club and um, she puts up with a lot. Um, she spends a lot of time with the family and with the kids and she gives me the most support that she can give a husband. So I think, thank you very much and I love you very much. So just to finish, I'd like to say thank you to the Collingwood Football Club for what you've done for me over, over the years. Um, I've truly been blessed to have you a, a part of my life. So um, thank you very much.